Hi there again everyone, Josie here, Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel where you will find mostly affordable, practical, and easy DIYs. In this compilation video, I'll be using this Valentine's sign. This is the wooden sign that they sell at Dollar Tree. They come in different styles and colors. So I will be using for the first DIY six of them. And originally, I was actually thinking of doing a two-tier and just want to let you know if you want to do two-tier, you only need two of these boxes to assemble this. But if you want a three-tier, which I ended up doing, you would need four of that wooden boxes and then six of the wooden Valentine sign. So here I'm just removing the stickers on the back of those wooden signs and then the boxes I am just going to be painting them and I have that chalk paint that I got at Amazon I'll be linking down below I really love this Rust-Oleum chalked linen color and it really would match the white signs so I'm just going to go ahead and paint the inner part as well as the outer part of these boxes. Again, a total of four. And I'm just going to be applying a couple of coats, drying it in between coats. Now, if you notice, I'm not totally painting the inner part where those stars are, or you know the openings are, or the cutouts are, because I am going to be using that and gluing the signs there and oftentimes when it's freshly painted it's kind of harder to glue things together so i'm just drying them and then i didn't have enough of the white signs so i took these two blue signs and then i'm painting the bottom part which didn't have the written words and then i'm also painting those two sides there anything that will show up so the written words, I'm putting them underneath or it's going to be the bottom part because it's not going to show up anyway the way I'm going to be arranging them. So I applied a couple of coats of paint again and then let them dry. So once everything dried up, I'm going to go ahead and assemble them together to create my three-tier shelf. So first things first. I'm going to go ahead and create the bottom part and this is going to be the foundation. So I'm going to be using this Gorilla Glue. It's a wooden glue and it's really tough. It's tough as nails to be honest and I've used it in a lot of projects. And I'm just going to be using an applicator here. I'm just using this stick or bamboo skewer. And I'm just going to be applying some glue to this portion here that I didn't totally paint. Remember I mentioned that earlier because once you paint something, sometimes the glue doesn't adhere. And that's the reason why I didn't want to paint the bottom part of my wooden signs. So I'm going to go ahead and apply more glue on the other side as well. And if you notice, I'm also applying some glue about a half an inch up on the side and so that I can also adhere my two wooden signs to those areas there. So I did that on both boxes. And that way, it'll be more secured on both ends. And I left a slat or a gap in between those two wooden signs and made sure that they are flush towards the sides or the inner part of the boxes. Now I am applying my wooden glue again on the top of this box here and on the other box as well because I am going to be attaching the two wooden boxes one on each side so that I can raise them up so that I can put in my second tier and also my top tier. So I'm just applying as generously as I can because again this is going to be load bearing so I just want to make sure it's secured. So I'm just aligning the two together and then I am just going to be applying my wooden glue again where I applied glue at the bottom part it's the same way I'm repeating on this second tier and my apologies for the angling here because 
I am also the camera person as well as the person doing the DIY. So it's kind of a little challenging doing it by myself. So here I'm also applying more glue here on the side and I am just going to be placing one side first. It's going to be a little challenging again. Uh, here I am doing this first before I glue it or attach it to the top of the other box. I am just applying my wood glue first. And then look at this. I've just decided also that I can apply more glue to my wood sign. And that's it. I am placing that and it's out of the frame i didn't notice it that the other side is out of the frame but you will see that the other side of these two wooden signs are also connected to the box on the opposite end and you will see that i will pan it out because i noticed it yeah there you go so i'm just making sure that i have the gaps and to do that i'm making sure that those two signs again are sticking to the inner part of those two boxes so they're flush and then here i'm just applying more wood glue as generously as i can don't be skimpy on this one uh, because that's what's gonna hold these things together because those wood signs are heavy so this is where i'm going to be putting my last two pieces of wooden signs and then that's it i'm leaving the gaps of course there's going to be a bigger or wider gap on the top here because there is no uh, barricade or wall to eat up that kind of space like unlike those two tiers the bottom and the middle tier so to demonstrate also the height i put in these two bottles of mod podge and then of course to dry it overnight i have placed some heavy items on those portions where i connected together and here it is i'm propping it up already the next day this is the next morning and i put in some of my items my knickknacks so you can use this on top of your table or kitchen countertop on top of your desk or even on the floor if you prefer to do so this is perfect for tiny houses as well as studio apartments those small tight spaces like in the dorm you know the possibilities are endless and i will show you towards the end of this video where i'm going to be also placing this inside a kitchen cabinet to show you how it will fit into that as an organizer so this is propped up with my knickknacks with some of my items and this is a place where you can put small books or boxes again to put your displays but i'm also going to be using this to organize my spice bottles or my dried herbs so i purchased a set of 30 pieces of this empty bottles from amazon dollar tree sells empty bottles as well but i find that it's cheaper to buy at amazon so this wooden teaspoons or measuring spoons or scoopers I'm going to be placing them inside so that when I will be cooking it'll be easier since it is not a regular seasoning bottle at least I have the scooper so I could scoop my herbs as well as my spices or seasonings so I will be linking these two products down below. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just showing you what I'm using because I figured, you know, this will be nicer with uniform sizes of bottles and to make it easier on me dispensing. And when I'm cooking, it'll be great if I have these coopers already inside. So aren't they cute? <laughs> okay. So I've decided also to add some labels to my spice bottles or bottles of herbs and seasonings so that they will look much prettier and because they all look the same, I want to make sure that they can easily be identifiable. So I'm going to be using these adhesive labels that I got from Arteza. I'm going to link them down below. Again, this is not a sponsored video, but I'm just linking in case you ask 
later on in the comment section where I bought my labels. They come in different shapes and sizes. Dollar Tree also sells these types of labels, but I think they only have, uh, you know, a set of the same style or shape. Now, if you want assortment, you can purchase it also at Arteza or any store that sells them. So I figured I mentioned it here because sometimes I'm asked at the comment section what I use or where I got things. So I figured I'll link them down below. It's up to you if you want to purchase them. And here I am using this Arteza chalk marker to write my labels. So for example, I wrote there oregano and here I'm writing basil. And then I'm also gonna be writing the other here with different styles. Again, it's up to you if you want one style. I know some people want it to be uniform, but me, I like the variety. I have here thyme and so on and so forth. Again, the chalk paint and the label are from Arteza. So here they are. Now, because they are the same height and the same height of bottles and the ones at the back will be harder to identify. So aside from the label on the bottle itself, the front of the bottle, I figured I will also put in labels on the top of the lid. So for example, I use this one here because it's towards the back. I will identify the lid as well as the bottle sign with what I'm putting there, like cardamom. And since it's rarely used in our cooking, it will not be at the front. So the rare spices that we use will put at the back and at the front will be the most common ones that we use. So I think I'm going to be adding labels to the top of the lids of the ones I finished and on the ones at the back, I will also add labels on the front of the bottles as well as the top of the lid. That'll be easier to identify them. And the top tier, I could have put more bottles there, but I decided to prop them up again with my farmhouse style decorations. And remember this DIY that I recently did and I'll be linking it in the upper right hand corner. This is a decor organizer and I put the home sign there and this is a storage, a hidden storage for my essential oils. So just watch that video. I'm pointing towards the upper right so that you can click on the iCard to watch the video. I really love how this one turned out. And then here, I'm also using it for my potted herbs or plants. You can use it for succulents. Love it. Next, I'll be making this beautiful plant stand slash probably a small side table. And I'll be using these two wooden signs that I got at Dollar Tree. They're eight by eight inches square and i'm also going to be using this love sign i also got at dollar tree and i love that this is solid wood unlike the other box signs that is hollow at the back and this is perfect especially if you are trying to create something that would need to probably hold some weight so first i'm just going to be removing this cardboard on the top i really laughed a little bit when I saw that the exact sign was already printed on the box. So I think they just want to make it a little 2D. So that's why they added that as a cardboard. But I removed it and I also kind of wet it. it. It took me a little while. I was scraping it with my metal ruler. Or if you have a metal scraper, you can scrape it also with knife or any sharp object. And I was just removing the goo. Also at Dollar Tree, by the way, they sell those goo guns. So you can also use that as well. But to me, I'm just using plain damp paper towel or some water that I sprayed and then I just removed the goo. Now I am going to be assembling this using my favorite wood glue by Gorilla. And I'm gonna be linking it in the description box below as well. This is not sponsored. Again, I'm just sharing you the materials that I use and that I love to use and that have been tested. Now, the thing with wood glue, it doesn't dry as fast as hot glue. 
but I would urge you not to just use hot glue in this one because this is going to be something that you may want to lift around so you would need some wood glue now I will be applying hot glue on this side here and also on this side here as well any side that will touch the side of the frame or my wooden frame like so doing that kept it intact already or the wood would hold together as opposed to me just applying wood glue because again it will dry not as fast it may take you a couple hours to fully dry wood glue overnight is the best when it comes to drying wood glue or even e6000 if you're using e6000 so i'm just going to do the same application here and since hot glue dries fast i made sure that i really press hard and fast so that i will have a secure adherence or connection so the tougher glue once it dries up is the wood glue to hold this piece together and then the hot glue just a little bit of reinforcement there for ease of assembly i am using that as a reinforcement so on the opposite sides of each of the wood pieces, I'm also applying some hot glue and wood glue. To be honest, I was only trying wood glue here and you will see even when I attach the plaque or the sign. But then when I noticed that it's not really adhering and balancing, I decided to also apply hot glue where I applied my wood glue on the sides so since it's not adhering and it's unraveling off camera I have added hot glue to those portions that's going to touch the sides of my frame. And here it is after a couple of hours of drying and then I'm applying my first coat of paint. And then overnight, I dried this and then applied my second coat of paint the next morning. So here I'm just painting the legs as well as the top of the frame but I'm not going to be painting the sides of the frame because I want the black and white theme. And then I went ahead and print this one from the graphicsfairy.com website. It's another freebie. Mod Podge, my matte finish Mod Podge. I am also going to use it to adhere and attach this sign on the top. And then I will be applying another couple of coats of this Mod Podge on the top to protect it. Because I might use it for potted plants. I'm thinking this will be perfect for tea you know my tea cups if i want to drink some tea as well as maybe have a little bit of dessert that's why i chose that printout because it mentions something about that you know cafe as well as pate chocolate and also syrup so i figured if i'm not using it as a plant stand i can use it as well for my tea because I love drinking tea or even coffee or even chocolate or hot cocoa and then I will have my pates and then you know maybe not so much about the syrup but more on the pates to be honest so again like I said I'm just using my paintbrush here again applying a generous amount of my Mod Podge and then if you can see here, I'm also pushing out some air bubbles that may have formed underneath just to make it look a little bit smoother 
I am not an expert decoupager. There are a lot of artists online here on YouTube as well. So you can watch them as well. Now I have this brayer and I am just using it or a roller and I'm using it to push out more bubbles that may have formed underneath to give it a more even look. So this is my tall kind of like mini side table slash plant stand as well as it could also be used or set up as a lantern to be honest without the glass because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be using this other DIY, which I'm going to be linking in the description box below. How I made this, this is just a Dollar Tree LED candle. And I have decoupage another printout that I got online on there to show like a winter scene. And I place it on a Dollar Tree glass vase and then put some twine on the top to make it look more farmhouse so that is kind of like the lantern portion at the bottom you can put anything there maybe a small book or maybe another small plant but here the other diy i created earlier i'm just showing you that it can be a plant stand as well i really love it Next, I am going to be assembling this organizer without any tools. So this is a no DIY DIY. I'm just going to be arranging six pieces of this teal. These are already painted in this color. Again, I'm using it upside down. The one with the signs or words are at the bottom. So I'm not using any glue here because I figured I am just going to show you and if I'm tired of using it, I can assemble it in another place. So I used a total of six to seven. I said six to seven because it's up to you how big your bottles are. You can actually use wider bottles to the front. That's why I used a seventh sign there, but you can do only six if you only have the smaller bottles, but for wider bottles or containers like i'm showing here i've used a total of seven wood signs so you can put anything there organize your craft things or organize your makeup your lotion and any other items you may use and you want to organize So I hope you like a little bit of that ASMR that I left you with. I was just, uh, you know, painting without talking. <laughs> anyway, here I am showing you again two 8x8 wood signs that they sell at Dollar Tree and I'm just painting them. Actually, it'll be easier to paint if you sand them and I did not. So sanding them would make the paint adhere a lot better and faster. So I painted the inner part as well as the outer part in two coats of paint. Here I am just going to be applying again my wooden glue so that I will be able to stick my wood signs, the teal signs that I already assembled earlier in a staircase style of organizer. So here I am just going to be again applying some wood glue to where I'm able to adhere to the side of the box or the wood signs and as you can see the end or the tip of each of the wood signs and the bottom and those that are on the sides except for the one in the center i am also applying some glue to where it will connect to this kind of side here where i also applied some glue like so so this one will be a two-tier organizer. Since I'm using this wooden signs and I have enough space for three wooden signs, I am going to be creating this two-tier organizer that is deeper or has more space to carry things in each shelf. 
even the bigger or wider things. And I will show you more towards the end also what I'm gonna be using this for. So here I'm just going to be wiping out or wiping off any excess glue that oozed out. It's kind of a little challenging here because here I didn't use any guide. I was just eyeballing the spaces in between because I wanna create that slat, slotted look because I want this to be dual purpose, not just a two tier shelf because I'm also creating a crate and I'll show you that later. So here I am going to be applying my glue on the top side here and as you can see, my painting isn't really done yet. This is after my first drying, but then I will be applying more paint later on. I decided to just assemble this together and then paint my other coat of paint. So here I'm just making sure that it lines up. So here I am applying a generous amount of wood glue again to the ends of each of my Valentine sign. And I am just eyeballing where I'm gonna be placing them, making sure that I put in the two ends first. So one sign at the back, which I did first, and then one sign towards the front, and then the one in the middle, I eyeballed so that I have it at the center. So in order to dry it again, I will be putting heavy items or objects on top of where I connected them on both of the tiers. And then the next day, I finished painting the two wood signs on the side. I've decided to give it a little bit of contrast using this other shade of teal, a little bit brighter so that there'll be contrast. So it's kind of like bluish as opposed to greenish teal that I've used for the signs. So at least it's like a color block style or kind of like a dual tone, similar to that glass vase that I painted on a previous project. So the reason why I like the slotted design is because of my potted herbs. And when I'm watering them, I want to be able to also ensure that there's enough air circulation. I'm showing that hooray sign from Dollar Tree that I purchased about two years ago. And that was my color inspiration here. Here, I propped it up with a plate and a bowl and also some of my kitchen utensils, you know, the cooking utensils, the wooden utensils. They sell them also at Dollar Tree. And yeah, I have some items here that I would display on top of my kitchen counter. So I'm just propping it up here. I even have that gather bamboo cutting board. I got that at the Lakeside Collection website on clearance. So I think I only purchased it for $6 and I really love it a lot. So here are some more photos on how I displayed things on this two shelf crate organizer. For the next one, I am just going to be repositioning this so that I can be able to use this as a crate. So I'm just going to be giving you an idea on how to do that. I am not going to be connecting them because that's not what I'm going to be using it for. But of course, it's a great idea if you want to do it this way. So I will be needing three more wooden signs, the Valentine signs. By the way, I purchased this online because I am a DIYer here on YouTube. So oftentimes I need more materials. So I often buy them online. Free drop shipping to my local Dollar Tree. So that's why I have these two in pink. They come in a set of 24, okay, in a pack or that's the bulk price 
and I purchased 24 pieces and they came in four colors some are in pink some are in teal and some are in white and blue so just so you know these were purchased not in one local Dollar Tree store so I just want to show you where you're gonna be able to position the other three signs so that you can create a crate that will have a bottom now if you want to use this as a planter to be honest if you're placing this outside in your backyard or your front porch you can put probably two big plants here and you can just keep the bottom bare you don't have to put three more signs like i'm showing here but if you want to use this indoors or if you really want to use it even outdoors and you want to create a taller crate or planter then you can add the three signs so the signs the additional three wooden signs at the bottom are optional but like i said if i'm going to be using this so that i can save materials i don't need to add the three additional signs i can just put the plants there and if i water then the bottom part you know you don't really need to because there will be soil there will be mud there will be water so at least you're able to save not only materials but also the bottom part of the crate and here i'm just going to show you that this can be used to corral things in your home so you can use this as a filing box you know if you have a lot of folders that you want to file but here i'm going to be showing you that this will be also a perfect organizer for crafters who often have a lot of this can you guess what it is <laughs> rolls of vinyl so nowadays a lot of people have cricket or silhouette and they have a lot of rolls of vinyl so for those crafters out there if you want to corral or hold your tubes or rolls of vinyls then you can use this to hold them and in my channel I've shown several already ideas on how to organize your vinyl sheets your rolls of vinyls and this is just one of them especially if you have a style that you are kind of doing in your craft room you want it to be more farmhouse and you don't really like the use of so much plastic as i know some of my diys my previous diys make use of them and here is another option if you don't like plastic at least you can use this wood signs so this can hold a lot of rolls and i don't really have a lot because i am not really into heavy cricket or cutting i do have a cricket but i don't have a lot of vinyls yet but i know that this will allow me to fit in quite a bit especially for a starter like me but even for those who are not starters but those common ones that you use like black rolls then you can use this see here these are the only rolls that i have and they fit and i know i can fit much more and here is my caddy that i purchased at target dollar spot a while back i think i purchased that for five dollars a couple of years ago and it matches the color I just want to pan up a little bit remember this DIY which I am going to be linking in the upper right hand corner so you can re-watch or watch if you haven't already this is another organizer that I created so as you can see I like color especially this color and or a combination or a different shade of it so I hope you like what I've done there too so that's the before as a crate that can be used as an organizer for your paper or roll or even probably gift wrapping paper as long as they're not too tall if you want to do two stacks of this to hold the taller rolls that'll work out too so that's another idea for you i 
I have one question from Cindy and she has a dilemma. Her cupboard doesn't have shelves. So this DIY, you might say, was perfect timing because I already created the DIYs. And then here, as an epilogue, I'll be showing you how I can use this inside a cupboard that doesn't have shelving. So the first DIY that I created perfectly fits and now holds some coffee mugs. So the smaller coffee mugs I placed at the bottom so I could fit more and I purchased them at Dollar Tree. So I was able to fit five of them. And then in the middle tier, I put my bigger mugs and those are huge, okay? And then on the top, I put in some cookies, but you can put in more mugs there if you want to or cups. So this became sort of my drinking station organizer and this one works a lot. And let me just demonstrate to you, this is a heavy mug. So I purposely placed the heavier mugs. I think you can fit at least four or up to four, at least three. And those are heavy ones. And this is a sturdy organizer. Just want to show you here, I also have space for my coffee, sugar, creamer, and stirrers. And on the top shelf, you can use it for more mugs, or in my case, I put in some chocolates, cookies, you know, so that when we grab our drinks, we can have our cookies too, or some desserts or snacks. And then I am here showing you again, and I, you know, you can finish the painting here. This is not a perfect paint job. To be honest that was supposed to be the back part i used it kind of reverse and i just noticed when i was kind of editing it but i used this to prop it up with my plates and my bowls in the kitchen so yeah it can hold even those plates from dollar tree on top again this is load bearing this is sturdy so it's not going to wobble it can hold but of course check the limitation as well, not too heavy or else it'll also cave in or break. So with anything, whether it's a DIY or something that you purchase, there's always weight limitations. So I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone, and I was able to give you some solutions as well. Comment down below if you wanna ask me some questions and then probably I can show you some solutions, then I can do that like part of my DIYs like this one. Hope you have a great day, everyone, and I'll talk to you again on my next video. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.